The cowboy boot. For some people, these boots represent a way of life. For others, a flair of fashion. Whatever way you wear them, it's safe to say few styles of shoe are as iconic. But where did this style come from, and why are they distinctly tied to American fashion? The exact origin of the style is contested, but many agree that the style we think of today has a surprising origin in Hollywood. Before Western blockbuster stars like John Wayne, these boots were, well, just boots. A simple style and cut for working in the stables and riding horses. Flash forward to the 40s and 50s, and suddenly the cowboy became synonymous with American style. The basic concept of the boot stayed intact, but the focus shifted from a purely practical mindset to fashion. This first step might ruffle some feathers. Traditionally, cowboy boots are made from hides of animals, like goat or cow. This particular boot is made from ostrich skin. A stencil is placed on both sides and outlined in chalk. Time to cut! This machine uses 10 tons of hydraulic pressure to slice through even the toughest material. This is the material that will be used on the outside of the final boot for a show-stopping look. The lining, meanwhile, is more understated and is labeled with size, style number, width, and date manufactured. The finishing touch is the logo. Cowboy boots are known for their intricate patterns that decorate the sides. The process to achieve this look is called cording. Glue is applied to a template and a thin bit of twine is delicately laid on top. Then the leather pieces are stuck together. Off to be stitched. Each piece of the boot is placed in a tray that is fed into a machine that stitches the design. The cord in between the leather is adding dimension to the design, raising the pattern up to stand out from the stitching. All the pieces are then sewn together inside out. This is done so that the seams of the boot can be rolled down. You know that rubbing feeling you can get when you put on a new pair of boots? By rolling down the seams, they won't irritate your leg while you wear them. The boot is then placed on this tube which sucks the boot in and turns it right side out. But hold on, these boots clearly aren't made for walking quite yet. These are called lasts, and they come in all shapes and sizes depending on the style of the boot. The insole of the shoe is attached to the last with staples, and then attached to the leather outside of the boot in a process called lasting. The leather is dunked into a bucket of water and stretched over the plastic last. Nails are then hammered into the sole. This process is crucial for the shape and feel of the boot and takes incredible skill. Finally, the boot is ready for the toe to be shaped and lasted. Square, round, pointed, the toe of the boot is a crucial style element to any shoe. Time for a little heat. Wet from the lasting process, the boots are taken to a hothouse where they sit for 24 to 48 hours. This room is like a large boot oven and is heated to 120 degrees, ensuring all the water evaporates and the boots are left dry for the final leg of their journey. Pegging is a traditional method used to connect the leather insole to the outsole. Holes are hammered along the arch and lemon wood pegs are expertly hammered into place. Some brands have opted to replace lemon wood pegs for metal nails, but any boot lover will insist that lemon wood pegs are the only way to go. The reason? Lemon wood absorbs water at the same rate as leather. So, if you walk in water or your foot gets a little sweaty on a hot day, the sole will shrink and expand at the same time, helping the boot stay intact. Metal nails, on the other hand, would slowly be pushed out of the shoe over time. The sole is painted over with a staining varnish and buffed to polish the bottom. Then things get a little hot again. Boots are placed on individual hot ironing boards that stiffen and steam the sides of the boot. This step ensures that your boots have that tall and straight appearance right out of the box. Next, an open flame is brushed across the leather. Besides looking really badass, this process removes any stray threads. Once they're all spiffed up, the boots are packaged and shipped to your closet. Whether you're going to a rodeo, 
shindig, or just rocking them in your own personal way. These boots might be the style statement you have been waiting for. Thanks so much for watching. Click here for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.